right, I told you guys we was gonna roll right into this Amir Khan, uh, you know, you know, thing saying that uh Jeff Horn really ain't shit. Basically, said that uh you know Jeff me so horny, you know, didn't impress him. He was ringside. He was over there doing a um a reality show called The Celeb in the UK. Uh, they were shooting it on Australia. He got voted out, so he decided to hang around in Australia and catch Horn versus Gary Coker. And it's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. You dig? And uh, your thoughts on Mr. Intro, but I didn't. <laughs> but uh, he said, you know, he see why Manny Pacquiao, you know, picked Jeff Horn and he still lost. And Khan is back to talking that ish. <laughs> always like the Amir Khan in his mouth, man. A lot of people say, oh, you're getting knocked out. But Amir Khan getting knocked out, he always bounced back, though. You know what I'm saying? He took a risk to fight Canelo Alvarez. I don't know if he was trying to one-up Kale Brook or Kale Brook was trying to one-up him, but it didn't turn out well for either one of them. He took a long time out the ring and hopefully refresh and go back to, to the Bay Area and get, get with Virgil when they come with a plan. You know, Virgil said he told him not to take that fight with Canelo Alvarez, but, you know, he was hell-bent on taking it. So, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, kind of seeing what I've seen, you know, who are easy pickers, man? Let's, let's keep it real. If you're an elite fighter, in the welterweight division, don't mean you an elite pound for pound fighter in the grand scheme of things. But if you're elite fighter in that pound, in that welterweight division, you lose to Jeff Horn, something wrong. Now I'm not saying that Jeff Horn is like the bummiest of bum fighters. I'm not even saying he's a bum. He's a solid fighter, and his size is his greatest asset. You know, um, and his ability to get stronger during fights and, and have that stamina. That's cool. But you should easily watch Jeff Horn. You know, now Jeff Horn might catch Khan on the chin, but I see if Amir Khan, you know, fight safety first. Like he can, like he did with Colazzo, like he did, he was on that little streak he was doing. He he, he outpoint Jeff Horn, but it wouldn't surprise me if Jeff Horn clipped him on his chin, at all. But like he said, man, ain't nothing impressive about Jeff Horn. These these guys trying to pump up Terence Crawford win and compete with Lomachenko win now, so they're gonna try to pump up Jeff Horn. So when he beat Jeff, when Crawford beat Jeff Horn, they're gonna be trying to seal you guys to this 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 king that's you know light years ahead of Lomachenko. That's all these dudes going back and forth doing. You feel me? You know, they react, they overreacted to the Lomachenko, they overreacted to the Crawford Horn thing, watch, to keep up with Lomachenko because they got so much spike towards Lomachenko. You know, what Khan called it how it was, he ain't shit. That's what Khan said, basically. I'm going to link the article in the description. You know, and, and me, I'm never going to fake the funk with y'all, bro. You know, if, like I told you guys, I got a few guys that, that, that I'm trying to put y'all on game, Josh Taylor. Now, if Josh Taylor just so happens to, example, go out there and get knocked out, I come back and say I was wrong. I'm not gonna make no excuses. Y'all know. When I come back and I'm wrong with something, I don't make no excuses. You know, the majority of guys, y'all come here and tell me I was wrong with Lomachenko, Rigondeau, and a few other fights. I don't see y'all no more. Now a lot of y'all came on and saluted real motherfuckers. You know, I I, I fuck with y'all. You know, but don't run. We all be wrong before. It ain't nothing to be wrong, you know. You know, this ain't a ninety nine point nine percent prediction uh thing in boxing. And nothing is, is ninety nine point nine percent in boxing. You never know what can happen. You never know how guys feeling. But, you know, Khan, you know, was, there's a ring sign, gave his little synopsis on it, but it's time to see Khan get back in his welterweight division because he's no longer in the top 15 due to moving up to 155-pound Canelo superweight, super Canelo weight. Now, you know, being out so long, now coming back down to uh, 147 pounds. It'll be interesting because Khan, when he's on, he's on. You know, nobody can outbox Amir Khan that I've seen. You know, I've never seen Amir Khan outbox. I've seen him knocked out. <laughs> I see it back down. So it'll be interesting to see him uh, entrench himself in this welterweight division. If Pacquiao chooses to stay, I mean, there's a lot of great fights for Amir Khan, you know. If I'm Earl Spence and I can't get a Keith Thurman and Amir Khan want to fight before Ramadan in the summer, he get a, a, a tune-up fight or whatever, or he want to come back in the winter and I, and I ain't fighting Keith Thurman, I think that's a good fight for Jesse Vargas, for, for Earl Spence especially, you know. If you want to go back to the, to the UK and fight Amir Khan, I think that's a good fight for him. You know, you know you'll always knock him out. So it's a lot of good fights for Khan, but I agree with Khan on here, man. Jeff Warren ain't that good, homie. We gone.